Hello everyone, welcome to the Logo Carousel Pro plugin video tutorial. Logo Carousel Pro is a gorgeous multi use logo showcase and responsive logo gallery plugin for WordPress that allows you to visually showcase a number of logo images with an easy shortcut generator. Before going to the plugin features, let me show you a few examples of the logo showcase that can be created with the plugin. First, you can create a beautiful logo carousel like this. And below that you can see a multi-row carousel where the contents are showing on hover. And this is the ticker carousel. You can create a beautiful grid layout with inset box shadow. This is an isotope layout. This is another isotope layout with opacity filter. This is the list layout with left logo when you click on the image. You can see the more information about the logo are showing in the nice pop-up. And finally this is the logo inline layout. Using the plugin features you can create unlimited designs to showcase your logos in different layout. Now let me give you a quick overview of all the plugin features one by one. Once you have installed and activated the plugin in your WordPress dashboard you will see a menu called logo carousel. When you click on it it will take you to this page. Click add new to create a new logo and fill out the page with necessary informations. Finally publish the logo and repeat the process to add as many logo as you want. Now let's go back to the all logo page again. Here you can order the logos by doing drag and drop like this. Below that you will find the category menu. Here you will find all the categories you have created. If you want to create a new category then use these options to create new category. And now let's move on to the shortcut generator menu. Here you will find all the shortcodes you have created using the plugin listed in one place. For each shortcode you will find a title, a layout, a shortcode and the date it was published. If you want to make a copy of any of your existing carousel then simply click on the duplicate button. Now click add new to create a new shortcode and type a title for it. Below that you will find several tabs. Initially you will be in the general settings. Here you can select a layout preset from carousel, grid, isotope, list and inline. Select a carousel mode from standard, ticker and center. Let's see how the standard mode looks in the live preview. I am talking about this live preview button. When you click on it, it will take you to the live preview section like this. So this is the standard carousel. Below that when you select ticker and update the preview, you can see this is a ticker carousel. And now if I select center and update the preview, you can see this is the center mode. Set number of column for responsive devices, filter the logos by all category and specific. Select all to display all the logos in the logo showcase. Select category to display logos from particular category. And select specific to display your desired logos in the logo showcase. Set a logo link type from link, pop-up or none. And configure the link target, order by and order option from here. Enable or disable the preloader as you want. Now let's move on to the style settings. Enable or disable the section title from here and configure the section title margin bottom, logo margin and inner padding from here. Choose the logo position from default top, bottom, left, right or overlay. Show or hide the logo title and description from here. When you show the description you will find a new option to display type full or limit when you select limit you can configure word limit read more button read more button label and read more button color from here show or hide the tooltip and set the tooltip position from top bottom left or right so let's see how the tooltip looks like in the front end so as you can see when i hover over an image a tooltip is showing at the top of the image set the tooltip width tooltip effect and tooltip color from here and configure the logo background color, logo border, border radius and box shadow from here. So if I select a box shadow inset, you can set the color for the box shadow. If I update the preview, you can see the box shadow is showing like this. Now let's move on to the logo image settings. Here you can show or hide the logo image and set the logo image size from several options and if you want you can set a custom size as well. Select a zoom effect from zoom in or zoom out. If I select zoom in and update the preview, so this is the zoom in effect. Enable or disable the image blur effect. So this is how the blur effect works. Set the opacity for the logo images. By default it is set to 1. Set an image mode from 3 different options. If I select grayscale and normal on hover and update the preview, you can see the logos are showing as gray. 
but when you hover over it, it is showing the actual color. Set the vertical alignment for the images and check the box to show or hide the image title attribute. Now let's move on to the carousel controls. Select a carousel orientation from horizontal or vertical and configure the carousel control related properties like autoplay speed, carousel speed, slide to scroll, pause on hover, infinite loop, carousel direction from here. Using this row option, you can create a multi row carousel. So if I set it to and update the preview, you can see a multi row carousel is showing like this. Configure the navigation and pagination related properties from here. And here you can see enable or disable the lazy load, adaptive height, touch sweep and mouse draggable. Now let's move on to the typography settings. In the typography settings, you can configure the slider section title font, logo title font, logo description font, read more font, pop-up description font, properties like font family, font size, font color and etc. When you select grid layout, you'll find the new options to select a layout mode from event or machinery. And in the style settings, you'll find the new option as pagination, you can show or hide it. And set the logos to show per page or per click and pagination alignment margin and color from here. So if I update the preview, you can see this is how the pagination looks like in a grid layout. When you select isotope layout, you'll find a new option named filter style. You can select normal or opacity. If I select opacity and update the preview, you can see this is how the opacity filter looks like. Similarly for each layout preset, you'll find the new settings. Let's publish the shortcode and copy it. Go to a page where you want to display it. Insert the shortcode in a text, code or shortcode block and publish the page. Uh, this is how the logo cursor looks like initially. Now let's move on to the plugin settings menu. Here you can see the license activation page appears to the first. This is the license activation field where you need to insert the license key to activate the plugin. Below that in the advanced settings, you will find the options to enable or disable all the CSS and JS used in the plugin to run it smoothly. Write custom CSS here to modify the plugin default styling. And the last one is tools menu. Using the tools menu, you can export and import all the logos and the logo carousel shortcodes you have created with the plugin. That's all about the Logo Carousel Pro plugin today. In the upcoming videos, I will show you how you can use all those features in the plugin to make your logo carousel even more attractive and meaningful. Until then, take care.